Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera. Accounting for inventories. If you find the video is useful, please subscribe, like and share. In this video, we will discuss about the definition of inventory, inventory system, periodic and perpetual system, inventory costing method, that is FIFO, first in first out, and weighted average, and also effects on inventory valuation on profit. Definition of inventory. Inventory is the items that your business has bought with the intention of reselling to customers. A company's merchandise, those are raw materials, finished or unfinished product which have not yet been sold. Ini bermakna, inventory adalah item yang telah dibeli oleh perniagaan dengan tujuan menjual semula kepada pelanggan di mana item yang tidak habis dijual dalam tahun semasa akan dibawa ke tahun berikutnya untuk dijual. Inventory is classified as a current asset on a company's financial position. Types of inventory. There are three types of inventory. First, raw material inventories. It refers to the total cost of all the components used to manufacture a product. Ini bermaksud Ia merujuk kepada kos semua komponen atau bahan mentah yang digunakan untuk mengeluarkan produk. Contohnya, untuk pembuatan tayar, bahan mentahnya adalah getah. Secondly, work in process inventory refers to material that have been partially completed through the production process. But ini bermaksud ia merujuk kepada bahan yang telah separa siap melalui proses pengeluaran. And thirdly, finished good inventory refers to the number of manufactured product in stock that are available for customer to purchase. Ini bermaksud ia merujuk kepada jumlah produk yang telah siap yang tersedia untuk dibeli oleh pelanggan. Although the inventory for raw materials and work in process may not yet be ready for sales, but they are used to produce product for resale purpose. Therefore, they are classified as an inventory in manufacturing business. Ini bermaksud, walaupun inventory bahan mentah dan inventory kerja dalam proses mungkin belum siap dijual, tetapi ia digunakan untuk menghasilkan produk untuk tujuan penjualan semula. Oleh itu, mereka diklasifikasikan sebagai inventory dalam perniagaan perbuatan atau perkilangan. Inventory system. There are two inventory system. Number one, the periodic inventory system ataupun sistem berkala and number two is the perpetual inventory system ataupun sistem berterusan. What are the differences between the periodic inventory system and the perpetual inventory system? Firstly, in periodic inventory system, inventory records are updated periodically. While in perpetual inventory system, inventory records are updated continuously. Ini bermaksud dalam sistem berkala atau periodic system, record inventory dikemas kini secara berkala iaitu seperti setahun sekali atau dua tahun sekali manakala ia direkod secara berterusan dalam perpetual system. Secondly, in periodic inventory system, a physical inventory count is done at the end of accounting period to determine the balance of inventory and cost of goods sold. While in perpetual inventory system, the balance of inventory and the cost of goods sold are updated and available on every time sales and purchases were made. Ini bermaksud, 
Pengiraan inventory secara fizikal dilakukan pada akhir tempoh perakaunan untuk menentukan baki inventory dan kos barang dijual dalam periodic inventory system. Manakala, baki inventory dan kos barang dijual dikemas kini setiap kali penjualan dan pembelian dibuat dalam perpetual inventory system. And the third one is Purchases goods are recorded in purchase account that is debit purchase while in the perpetual inventory system purchase uh, purchase of inventory recorded directly in inventory account. Inventory costing method. There are a few methods. Firstly is first in first out or FIFO. Secondly is last in first out or LIFO, but this method has been prohibited by IFRS. And the last one is weighted average ataupun purata wajaran. IFRS prohibit LIFO bermaksud IFRS melarang LIFO kerana kemungkinan gangguan yang berlaku terhadap keuntungan dan penyata keuangan syarikat. Dalam LIFO, Pengurus yang tidak bertanggungjawab mungkin berniat untuk meningkatkan pendapatan secara palsu dengan menjual inventory dengan kos yang rendah. Example for FIFO method During the months of October 2020, the accounting transaction in Toys Trading Sumberhat were as follows. Purchase for unit and sales 3 units. On 1st October 2020, purchase 1 unit. So, this is a toy number 1. 2nd October, purchase 1 unit. So, this is a toy number 2. On 3rd October, purchase 1 unit. So, this is a toy number 3. And 4th October, purchase another one unit. So, this is the toy number 4. In 5-4 method, the first toy in will be the first toy out. In is refers to purchase and out is refers to sales. So, on 5th October, sales one unit. So, the toy that will be sold is plane or toy number one. On 6 October, another sales one unit. So, the toy number two will be sold. And on 7 October, sales one unit. So, the toys that will be out is Toy number 3. So, it is complete 3 units sales. So, what happened to the toy number 4? The toy number 4 has not been sold yet. So, this is what we call ending inventory. And for the toy number 1, 2, 3, that has been sold is called cost of good sold. First in, first out method or FIFO. It means that the earliest good purchase are the first to be sold. It means that earliest item purchase that is in are assumed to be sold first that is out. Ending inventory will consist of the most recent or latest item purchase. That is the toy number 4. So, the cost of the newest or latest inventory item remains in ending inventory. The cost of the earliest or oldest inventory items are charged to cost of goods sold when goods are sold. Those are the toy number 1, 
2 and 3. Last in, first out method or LIFO. It means that the latest good purchase are the first to be sold. But this method is no more in IFRS. Weighted Average Cost Method This method assumes that the goods available for sales have the same or average cost per unit. Generally, they are homogeneous. Ini bermaksud, kaedah ini meandaikan bahawa barang yang tersedia untuk dijual mempunyai kos per unit yang sama atau purata. Biasanya, barang itu adalah homogen. There are a few formulas that you have to rememberize in this method. First is inventory cost per unit equals to total cost of goods available for sale divided by total units available for sale. And the second formula is cost of ending inventory equals to ending inventory units multiplied by weighted average cost per unit. Calculation of cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold equals to beginning inventory plus purchases minus ending inventory. Here, ending inventory plays an important role. The calculation of event inventories is depends on the method and system used, where ending inventory will affect cost of goods sold, profit and taxes. The advantages and disadvantages of first in first out method or FIFO. The advantages, firstly, during inflation, net profit is high, and secondly, the cost of goods sold is low. Thirdly, flow of cost tends to be consistent with usual physical flow of goods. Ini bermaksud Aliran kos adalah selaras dengan aliran barang fizikal yang biasa. The disadvantages. Firstly, revenue recognition concept of accounting is violated because cost of goods sold does not match with current revenues. Ini bermaksud, konsep perakaunan pengirafan hasil dilanggar kerana cost of goods sold adalah tidak sepadan dengan pendapatan semasa. And secondly, during inflation, income tax is high. Journal entry to record inventory transaction. For transaction, purchase of goods on credit 320,000 in periodic system Debit purchase, credit accounts payable 320,000. In perpetual system, debit inventory, credit accounts payable 320,000. For transaction, sales of goods on credit, RM450,000, inventory cost RM270,000. In periodic system, debit accounts receivable, Credit sales four hundred and fifty thousand, but in perpetual system there must be two entries. The first entry is to record sales, debit accounts receivable, credit sales four hundred and fifty thousand, and the other entry is to record cost, debit cost of goods sold, credit inventory two hundred and seventy. For transaction, return damage good RM20,000 to supplier. In periodic system, debit accounts payable, credit purchase return 20000 In perpetual system, debit accounts payable, credit inventory 20000 
For transaction, customer return goods RM35,000 costing RM30,000. In periodic system, debit sales return, credit accounts receivable 35,000. But in perpetual system, there must be two entry. First one is debit sales return, credit accounts receivable 35,000. And debit inventory credit cost of goods sold thirty thousand. The effects of inventory evaluation on profit. These are the data for different method using periodic system. We can see that the ending inventory is different between those methods. We also can see that the cost of goods sold for FIFO is lower than cost of goods sold in weighted average. This is because the ending inventory in FIFO is higher than ending inventory in weighted average. In this case, LIFO is no more in IFRS. Next, we can see that the profit for FIFO is higher than profit in weighted average. This is because of cost of goods sold in FIFO is lower than cost of goods sold in weighted average. Notes, LIFO is used in management accounting for decision making. The effect of inventory evaluation on operating income or profit. When inventory costs per unit increase, the value of FIFO ending inventory is higher than weighted average method because it is value at the current cost. Cost of goods sold is lower which result in higher profit. Thus, income taxes is also high due to higher profit. Ini bermaksud, Apabila kos inventory per unit meningkat, maka nilai inventory akhir keedah FIFO adalah lebih tinggi daripada keedah weighted average. Ini adalah kerana ia dinilai pada kos semasa. Kos of goods sold pula adalah lebih rendah yang menghasilkan keuntungan yang tinggi. Oleh itu, cukai pendapatan juga adalah tinggi kerana keuntungannya adalah tinggi. Okay, that's all for introduction of accounting for inventories. See you on the next video of this topic. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and selamat sejahtera.